Hello and welcome back to another episode of Ramblecraft and I'm slowly falling. Um, yeah, hi. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to another episode of Ramblecraft. That was a weird intro, but I'm gonna roll with it. Anyways, we have a lot of stuff to do in this episode. I have a lot of stuff planned. We won't get everything done, but we will make a start. So as you can see right here, I landed on this island and uh, this island is pretty flat. I don't, I, I can't talk. I can't talk. This island is not flat, but it is going to be. As you can see, I've removed uh, nearly all the trees. Apparently some have escaped my vision. That's better. Four. I need the airspace clear. Anyways, this island is going to be laid flat because we are going to be building not one farm here, but we're actually going to be building one farm on top of another uh, for a project. And that is going to be, I'm, I'm very excited for it, but I think we will only get to flattening out the island and building uh, one of the farms today because I also want to get started on something on my main base here. Um, not the roof, not yet. Uh, but I want to get uh, the item collection uh, module basically built here. So that is something else we will get done today. But before we do any of that, before we do any of that, we have something very important to take care of. Um, I was about to, yeah, that's okay. First things first is I gotta clean up my ender chest and then we'll see what we gotta do. <laughs> All right, ender chest has been sorted. Wait, why do I have a no block on me? Whatever. <laughs> we're going to the shopping district. And no, we're not going to the shopping district because of this project that we made in the last episode. We will be visiting that later. Um, we are here because it came to my attention that there's a challenge for us down here. So let's go down into the Bunga Club, which Hocus made. And this thing is... Wait, this thing is not new. Wait, hold on. Have I missed something? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Someone in the comment section actually told me that Hocus has made a challenge for us. So thank you for that. Um, what is this? Ooh, I remember this. I saw who did. I don't remember who did this. I do not remember who did this. Was it? I think it was Hocus actually that installed this. This is basically a jukebox. Submissions. What's a sub? Okay. Uh, hmm. Don't know what a submission is. <laughs> Anyways. Here we go, challenge task number one. Okay, let's see what this is. Instructions. Read the following riddle and decipher the item being described. Bring the item to the bunker club and place it in the submissions chest. Ah, okay. Should always read the instructions first. Please rename the item to your username before submitting. Riddle. Black and square. Pro I don't know that word, I'm gonna have to look that up. Beware for I am attached to a body of bones. Okay, that word, gotta look it up. All right, after doing a bit of research and uh, asking my friend at last what on earth that word means, um, it basically means like obtaining or obtain with care, I think. So, black and square, obtain us, I'm just gonna translate so I understand it. Obtain us beware for I am attached to a body of bones. And what comes to mind when I read this is Wither Skull. That is what I think of. When I uh, when I read that, so with a skull, huh? Okay, so I gotta obtain a with a skeleton skull and submit it. Do I have one? Do I have one? Do I have one? Maybe at base. I can't imagine myself having an extra. Wait, why am I going in here? Nothing there. <laughs> uh, huh. Right. With a skeleton skull. I mean, that's what I think it is. Personally, so... I'm gonna have to find a fortress. Where was the one that I used? Huh. This is gonna be interesting. I remember, I think it was Endavar that used a specific fortress to get his own skulls. And I don't remember where on earth it was. He cleared out... Oh. Well, I found it. <laughs> Alright, so I just gotta get a Wither Skeleton Skull, it would seem. Ow. Um, should be fairly easy as long as I don't die. Ah, ah. Be gone. 
Can I just submit a call? Does that count? Ah! I don't think it will count. <laughs> now, just while hunting these, I'm just thinking, it's a challenge number one. So does that mean that we will get another one after completing the first one? That's my question. Also, I'm just waiting for these to spot. Ooh, hello. I, do, do you have something for me? Can I have, can I have your <laughs> can I have your head, sir, please? Oh, come on. Nope. Okay. I, I guess it's understandable. Why? Just why? Look at this. Every skeleton that I don't need. This is the kind that I don't need. Please. Give me the other one. Like, come on, I'm gonna die here. <laughs> What's going on? Found another one. What you got? Yes! I got it! Haha! <laughs> okay, with a skeleton skull acquired. Uh, now I just gotta hope that I can find my way back. Um, I'm not sure if this is the way back or not. I feel like I'm going in the wrong direction here. Alright, I managed to finally find my way out of there. Uh, and right back to the shopping district, so that is perfect. So I'm gonna go down here. Uh, is there another one down here? Yes, there is. Okay. I just hope it doesn't break by me using it. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, so what did it say? It said, please rename the item to your username before submitting. Okay. Gonna make sure I spell it right. Spell my own name right. Binary Vigilante. Yes, perfect. All right. Sweet. Submissions chest. Oh, bunga cloth coin. Oh, what is this? Is gonna be interesting. Wait, so can I do this multiple times? <laughs> I mean, if I get more wither skeleton skulls, I assume I can. I'll have to make sure of that because if others are doing this, I don't want <laughs> I don't want the thing to be empty. <laughs> but that's really cool. I cannot wait to see what else is gonna happen. I want to make something here too, and I'm still thinking about it. Um, I think I may have an idea pretty soon. So maybe in the future we will be doing something down here as well. Because I really want to do something with that. But anyways, that will have to wait for another time because we need to get started on our projects. The episode is already quite long and uh, we need to get everything done. So, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go down and actually move the beacon over here so that I can get rid of this area even faster and make it look somewhat nice and we'll get the first farm that I want here up and going and then we'll do the item thing over there. So, um, yeah, let's, let's move the beacon first actually. Let's, uh, wait, where? I've not actually been down here in a while. And believe it or not, I have actually been doing a little bit more mining down here. But as you can see, I am nowhere near done. But I don't know if I ever will be done in this area because it's pretty messy to mine with because of the way I started it. So, yeah. But anyways, this will be moved for now. Um, yeah, over to the island because I also want to move somewhere else after that. So I'm going to collect these and uh, put it all on the island and we will get started. Okay, this is a lot of iron. <laughs> this is a lot of iron just sitting here, but it's so worth it. All right, that is the whole beacon removed down to its blocks right here. Now, I gotta get back out and put it at the island. And uh, I should probably actually tell you what we're actually making there. Um, I haven't done so yet. I, I have a bad habit of keeping things maybe a little bit too secret. I apologize. Let's get over there and I'll explain go and just gonna build it off of that see it got a use in the end and there we go beacon has been placed and haste two give thank you perfect not perfect better Alright, so what am I actually going to place here? We are going to be having two farms stacked on top of each other. And what those farms are going to be is a sugarcane farm. And on top of that, we are putting a creeper farm. Because I want to make rockets and I want to sell rockets. And look at how fast I can actually swing my hand. Sweet. Um, anyways, enough distractions. Let's get on with it. I'm going to clear this area. Then I'm going to be right back with you with the materials that we need. And we will begin the sugarcane farm and uh yeah we'll take it from there 
Also perfect timing because someone is now starting to drill and banging. I don't know what is going on and it's past 8 o'clock, so they're technically not allowed to. But I'm going to look past it and we're going to actually get started. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, area has been cleared enough anyway. Uh, these pigs will still have to move, but I'm sure they will be fine. So, in this box is everything that actually... Um, these boxes should have everything that we need for this build. I still have a lot more glass cooking back at base, so I will get that as I need it. But anyways, let's get to building this. Uh, pretty long and pretty big, not very tall though, sugarcane farm. This I am following a tutorial by Shulkercraft, link down below in the description to the video. So if you want to build the same one, you can. And yeah, yet another time lapse. Let's get right to it. All right, there it is. The sugarcane farm has now been constructed. I am still adding sugarcane over here to finish it up. Uh, actually, are there any down here? So we can, oh, perfect timing as well. Look at that. It goes over, this is basically a flying machine, pushing all the sugarcane out and, uh, yeah, if you, it, I don't know if you actually saw it in the time lapse, but under here, like under this, Okay, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's basically a bunch of hopper minecarts here, picking up all the items uh, from when the flying machine comes along and pushes off the sugar cane right there. Now I need to go back to the collection system anyway to get that slab that I that I accidentally broke. Um, but I don't know, there might be a stack or something down here. Nope, just 43 and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, yeah, I didn't do the lighting at first, so I had a few um, mob spawning in there, but uh, nothing blew up or anything, so we're good. So we're good. So let me just add the sugarcane here and the slab, and uh, yeah, that is the sugarcane farm pretty much done. I may want to install a door here, though, for the future. Not that I have to go in here, but I guess it's just gonna be nice. Didn't have quite enough, but I'll do that off camera and fill it all up. And it's actually going to do pretty well. Now I should mention that I'm not using the exact size shown in the uh, video that I follow for this, um, because I wanted it to fit a little bit better with the island, but it is pretty close to that. And look at how fast it grows. Nice. Anyways, um, the next step would then be to build a creeper farm on top of this, which we will have to do in the next episode because of uh, we're running out of time. And also because I want to add something to the base. And here it goes again. But I do need to add something here, and that is carpets. Um, I need carpets here, again, because of the creeper farm. I could just add light. You know, I could just add light so no nothing spawns here. But I may need some carpets anyway, and Hocus said that I could use his place at the shopping district, so I do want to kind of just head over there and see how it looks. Um, because he has some sheep set up, and if I could get enough, that would actually not be too bad. I could, as I said, just place a light on top of that uh, border there on the roof, but I just... Someone's been here. 
<laughs> um, I just feel like... Hmm. I just feel like that placing torches is gonna look bad. And also placing sea lanterns is also going to look bad. So I would really just want to place something there that makes it so that mobs do not spawn. So let me see if I can find it. It should be in this direction and not that far away. Wait, is it that right there? It's actually that right there. I have no idea what's going on on this island. Um, whatsoever. <laughs> but these would be the sheep he's talking about. Not quite enough for me to actually get all the wool that I need. Hmm. But certainly an interesting uh, little spot here. Now it did tell me that uh, tell me that I could just come in here and take the wool that I wanted from these sheep. So I am gonna do that. Uh, see how much we actually managed to get here. Fifteen. Oh wait, nope. Seventeen. Okay. Oh wait, another. <laughs> Nineteen. Is, there, is anyone else fancy fancy some grass, please? Oh wait, you. Okay, thank you. Twenty-two. <laughs> okay, so I think I'll have to come back. Yeah, I'll have to come back here and get a bunch of wool. And of course, I'm not just gonna do it for free. I'll uh, I'll have to leave something um, for him for this uh, the service he has provided. Uh, so thank you, Hocus, for allowing me to do that. And uh, now, as this is not enough, it is still enough for me to just quickly see um, how it's actually going to look. Of course, I'm in the need of ink sack. Why is that always an item you just need? Did I even... No, okay, there we go. I was like, did I not even get anything from that? All right, it should be enough. All right, make the wool into gray wool and then convert gray wool into carpet. 24. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more than that, but it is good enough to make an example. In fact, it's good enough to make this whole row right here. So this is basically what I would do instead of placing torches. That was a perfect amount as well. Sweet. So yeah, that's... I don't, I don't feel like that looks too bad. I don't feel like that looks too bad, it, especially when we add all the other stuff as well. So I will have to do that off camera to... Um, to, to get all the carpet that we need for it. And I'll also need some for the creep farm itself. Now down here, I will just have to place torches, obviously. Um, I'm not gonna carpet the whole island. But yeah, that's a super cave farm done and dusted. And I might even be able to finish up all the rows in here. That is just sad. You know, that's, that's just sad. Better, much better. This is just annoying. This is annoying that you cannot re-dye already dyed glass. It is so annoying. Like it, it, it's annoying. All right, this is not everything that I need, but it is definitely a start for me to begin. Still have some stuff smelting here, and but I think we should be good to go with the next project. So the next project is at the base. Uh, our big base here, <laughs> and that is the item tube. I'm gonna call it the item tube, the receiver tube, I guess we could call it. I need some dirt to fix this. But anyways, it is going to be placed here, and hopefully it is actually going to look pretty good when it's done. So that's going to be another time lapse. Um, yeah, enjoy. All right, it is done. Well, kind of in a way. I'm still missing the top. I need to figure out what to do with that. But um, yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with this. I actually changed the design uh, mid-build. Um, I had originally planned to use uh, full glass blocks right there and not even have these white pillars. I changed my mind. Yeah, th this looks a lot better in my opinion. 
Uh, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Now, obviously, it is not done. As I said, I need to finish the top and also I need to raise the base up as well to match it. Um, and also, of course, right now there's just grass on the inside, but eventually that will lead down uh, into some harvest or something, at least some sort of receiving system. And then finally into our sorting system. Also, that probably has to go out and need to change that I put something else there as well possibly just glass actually you know what maybe if I just now if I just remove this maybe that's gonna look cool maybe and if I then just change this with that now that's not gonna fit very well but maybe I can raise that just a tiny bit, just like that, add the glass, and how does then that look? Not bad! I think that is already an improvement, just so we can see the items flowing down. I think that is pretty cool. I think I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Let, again, let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'm actually, I'm actually pretty happy with this. I'm pretty, I'm pretty hyped up because of this. <laughs> <laughs> I am very happy with this. Now, while I was building that, I don't actually know how long it took. Um, the sugar cane farm has been busy. How much has it already made? Um, let me see how long I've been building that. So, about 25 minutes, give or take, because I did pass it in between because I had to get more glass and such. So, maybe 30 minutes, something like that. And that is not too bad. This is not... That's pretty good. I'm very happy with that amount of sugarcane for that amount of time. Plus, I didn't have to AFK here. I just had to be somewhere on the island. Now, the question is, if I AFK, for example, at the slime farm, will this then still run? I, I have to try that. I will definitely have to try that. But I think that is all we have time for for this episode. In the next episode, I am planning to hopefully put a lid <laughs> on this thing. Uh, raising the base up, maybe two more levels even, and building the creeper farm. So yes, we have a lot of stuff to do in the next episode. And I hope you are excited just like I am. Now with all that done and said, it's time to wrap up. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did and you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe and enable those notifications so you don't miss out. Can the channel reach 3000 subscribers before the end of the year? That's my goal. Make it happen. Anyways, hope you have enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. And, I, I don't say this enough, but check out the other ramblers down below in the description. Their links will be down below. Check them out. They make some really awesome and cool stuff. They, they, yeah, check them out. You have to. It, it, it's a must. But anyways, hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and... Mm, good, wait. Goodbye. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, dear.